We're only halfway through the first month of the new year and we've already had a huge round of crazy people become the craziest characters you'll ever crazily encounter in the crazy world. I just had to say that four times, don't judge me. Anyhow, welcome to Completely Stupid, the show about stupid people doing completely stupid things. And let's get into the clips. Here we have a very interesting clip where the store owner decided it would be a bright idea to lock his door in order to get this guy who apparently stole something locked inside of the store and being held by him for the time being. You feel powerful, dog? Hmm? You feel powerful? Just leave him, just leave him. You feel powerful? Dog? Dog? What? You feel powerful? Can you see this? He's getting into someone else's face. Let's see what happens. I never said I was going to. Put your hand on me. I never said I was going to. So why are you asking me to put my hand on you? Because you locked me in the store, bro. I didn't do nothing. I didn't put my hand on you. You're a thief and I didn't take care what of you. What did I steal? I sampled the drink. After you were confronted. I literally sampled the drink. After you were confronted. About what? Sampling now, the you drink? You sign that says sampling sampling the drink? I can't taste the drink. Do you see drink? that? Hey, did you what? like to go sample one what? of my sandwiches? What? You want to sample a cigarette? No. I never what, you want to sample a candy bar? Look at how close he is to his face. Not doing you that? Not doing that? Doing you that? Huh? Not doing you that? You did over there. I literally tasted the drink, bro. No, no that's not authorized. That ain't the way it works. I gotta pay for that cup that you threw away, that you paid for. Yeah, I only paid for it. I confronted you, bro. What are you saying, bro? I'm saying I have done said everything. She got it all on it. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I paid for the cup, so I ain't doing nothing. Yes. You don't need to be here, ma'am. Good. I'm sorry, sir. The store's closed for a moment. Disruptive customers. What are you doing name, bro? I am. Oh, I have all of them on camera already. So when the cops get here, I will be calling corporate too. Except for him. Except for this guy right here. It was hard. Ah, uh, man, I'm not 100% sure how to really think about this one. Because it's like one of those things, from what I've read with the US laws before, and on a technicality, if you, the store owner has actual legitimate reason to believe that you stole something or you did some form, like you stole something from them and you're refusing to pay for it, they can technically have the rights to lock you within the store they can't put your like you can potentially force your way off out and in theory they can't lay a hand on you in any way shape or form they can lock the door and stop you from leaving by blocking the entrance but they can't actually use any form of physical effort to do that so now it just comes down to the question on is sampling a drink, depending on where the sampling of said drink was, whether it be like a slushy machine that was out in the store floor, or whether he grabbed a milk, a milk drink out of the fridge, undid the seal, took a sip and put it back, is now just other questions on is that enough to warrant locking the guy in here? I honestly wouldn't be too sure. If it's along the lines and he had he put a little bit of slushy into a cup, took a sip of the frozen drink, and then that's it, and that's all he did, then I personally would just like be this ain't worth it, move along, get out of here. But if it's like an actual sealed drink he's taken out of the fridge, opened up, taken a sip, and then put it back after he didn't like it, then there's other issues that come along with that. Again, it depends on the context of what actually happened prior to the recording. Next, we have the Karen neighbor from H-E Double Hockey Stick, the craziest Karen neighbor of the block. But here's the question. Despite the absurdities of how he's choosing to tweet this situation, what are your thoughts? Here's the clip. Mistake. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Stop filming us. No. You're scary. No, too bad. Okay, I'm. So uh, this is for the the, the judge. Okay, when we good. file a restraining order on you oh, for good. stalking us. I'm not doing anything. Yes, I have you not, are. I have not even you cited you me walk, for going on your you property. You literally are in front of our home. Yeah. Our only safe space. Yeah. Every single day. I'm gonna be doing it How every you, single day. I know. Well, I'm gonna be cutting firewood out there. I don't care. And I'm gonna be raising my animals. You can out do here. whatever you want on your land. Just stop. You, Stalking us. I'm not stalking yes, you. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. 
My husband walks out. You turn on your camera and yeah, film him. You're watching us I'm on our front I'm waiting for him to porch. say something. He doesn't want to talk to you. Well, Nobody that's okay. does. You're I stalking us. You're here right now. Why are yeah, you here? Because I'm, I'm, t I'm asserting to you one, one time. This one is the time. only time. I'm telling you I am to going call to tell my you. lawyer. No, I'm call telling you lawyer. to stop stalking us. I'm not stalking My you. kids are scared of you. I'm sorry about that. I am scared that. of you. You need to stop. No. I, why? I'm not going to stop why? being myself. You have gotten enough You started this, lady. No, Lady, you started this. No, you started this, lady. All lady. summer, your customers you started have been parking in our driveway they to get not. through. Yes, they have. Your driveway? This is an easement. This is our driveway. This is and an the easement. shipping container your is our driveway. Your driveway comes to the line no, of this doesn't. house. Yes, no, it does. No, this is You want me driveway. to show you? No. I have it on the dock. You're a stock. You're, okay. you're, you're Th that's free. That's why no one, the, sheriff, the sheriff is why not making us move me? it. The sheriff made a mistake. No, they didn't. Yes, they, they don't did. make mistakes. In yes, fact, we do. talked to the deputy who's handling. Dr. Uh, Officer Pond? I, I talked talk to, to him too. No, not Officer Pond. His uh, boss. Oh. We talked to him boss yesterday. Is the sheriff. Yes, we've talked to everyone. Oh, and good. they said that stays. That's our land. That's not. That's on you, my easement. This is not your easement. It this is. is our driveway. See, from here, 22 feet down. You're so insane. Down in here. That's my driveway. Feet. No. And in, the in easement, there. That's over here. No. So that thing's in my easement. Okay. Like so when you trailers. when you get our demand letter, oh. your lawyer can respond to ours. Oh. I am done oh. asking you to leave I our don't family care. alone. I don't care what leave you us want. alone. No. Okay. You no. won't leave us alone? I'm not going to do anything you're, different. You're not going to Okay, doing. you're not going to stop filming us. I'm no. you people. You are that's stalking all. us I'm, every day. You're getting angry. Yes, I because you're stalking my family. Yes, you are. I am not. Yes, you are. I'm not. You think it's funny? I think you're, it's you're hilarious. a sick person. You're you're no. psycho. Why would you no. stop me from doing business? Why would business? you film our home at eight o'clock at night? So from what can be gathered here is the guy believes this shipping container is on his easement. But the problem that we're having here is that this land area is in between his driveway and her driveway. According to her, she's been to the police multiple times, leveled it up to multiple higher up people who have stated that it is her land and she is allowed to put it there. But this neighbor is very, very persistent that that's not the case which leads to various interesting things. There is also the additional problem that apparently he's having the fun of uh, stalking his neighbor, recording them whenever he can, and various other interesting things to be accused of, which from what can be gathered considering that the person behind the camera has successfully gotten a protection order from him, says that, yeah, there is probably some truth to that. It's... Neighbors are crazy sometimes. Like you either get lucky and the people you live next to next to are either really, really nice, really awesome people who are super friendly, or people that just don't bother getting themselves involved in other people's affairs, or you have people like this who are crazy, go absolutely wild and do insane things. This entire situation was probably by far the pettiest thing I've ever seen on this channel. Like, out of all the clips I've watched, this this entire thing, how it started, just feels to be the most pettiest thing I've ever seen. So, let me fill you in. So, this family, this mother and her daughter have gone to watch a movie at the cinema. And apparently, she's decided to say that her daughter is 15 years old. Apparently, that so they can get two adult tickets. Apparently, from what I can get with the story is that the adult tickets might have been cheaper than the children tickets, which sounds a little bit weird to me in the first place. Usually it's the children tickets that are cheaper than the adult chickens, but I digress on that one. Apparently that's a thing here. Anyhow, they did not ask for ID initially when it comes to getting these tickets. Anyway, a little while later, it comes to a occurrence of another staff, potentially a manager, that this daughter may have been younger than 15, may have been 14. So, takes it upon himself to go into the cinema where they're currently watching a movie, not only pause the movie, but then cause this huge ruckus that lasts quite a bit inside of the cinema. I don't know. If you, if he didn't say nothing to me about being an, for an adult price? Yeah, I paid for two adults. Unless your daughter is 15 and can prove She that. is 15. It didn't say nothing about me proving it. There's, They've what? There is a, a no, pop-up that comes that. up that says you might I didn't will see be that. asked for ID. I wasn't challenged once, except for the stupid woman at the desk. Yes, that's what there was. There was four other people, no one had challenged me, so how come she's challenging me? She's it's seeming like a race issue tickets. now. It's seeming a bit like a race issue now. How is it a race issue? Because she's the only one. No one else said nothing of other colour. 
No one said nothing, but she's got something to say now. Yeah, it's definitely got to do with it. She's picking on me, clearly. When you are buying the ticket on the line, it's very Uncle, your security, yeah? Let me deal with the manager. I don't want to disrespect you, all right? Thank you. You? You've come to tell me my child's got 15. You don't have no right to come and tell me my child's got 15. My colleague no, because I've, no, I've never had 40. to bring... Excuse me. I don't care what your stupid colleague said, yeah? Because she's been rude from the get-go. She don't need to speak. You're being rude you've, now. She asked for I'm you to, to come. Polite, yeah. You're not trying would, to be polite. Because you've like come you. to turn on light. You've come to embarrass me. No. Yes, I'm not trying to embarrass you. You've come to embarrass me and the people themselves not good management. You've done a terrible job. You've come and put light on it causes problems going forward. It's embarrassing. That's what you've come to do. You've come to embarrass people in your cinema. You hardly got people here as it is. You come to embarrass yourself. Why? What, what illegal? What illegal? No one, which one have you asked in here for ID except for me, the black one? Which one have you asked in here for ID? Come tell me. Excuse me, has anyone been asked for ID in here? Anyone been asked for ID? No, no one's been asked for ID. But you come to ask this one for ID. What kind of shit is that? If you're gonna do one rule, you have to do one rule for all. What is that? What are you showing? What kind of management are you showing? You didn't ask me for ID. You didn't ask me for ID. How old do you think I am? I might be 15. I might be 14 to be, to be fair. You didn't see how I arrived. You didn't ask me shit. You didn't ask me, who is this one now? You didn't ask me shit. But you're telling me this one don't look 15. So we must look old to be in the film now. Okay, well, I'm going to pause the now? film so we can- You want to pause the people then film? Yeah. Run me back all the money I paid times two. If you don't want to come with me. No, no, you come to me with your stupid card machine and run me back my money times two. Run me back my money times two. Embarrassing up yourself and the people in the cinema. Let me eat my chicken, yeah? No look at authority, you mean shit. Time to go. No, I don't want your stupid... Listen. Listen. No one wants that. Listen, let me tell you something. Don't come and embarrass yourself up in your cinema because you pay the local landlord charge. Yeah? Body. Put another hand near my child. It's me and you today. I promise you on everything. Yeah? Don't come near the child. If you want to talk to someone, talk to me. Don't come near her. Don't point at her. Don't do nothing. No yeah, she yes, she did. You. Yes, she did. So don't act stupid. You was here. He stepped in front of you because you didn't mean shit. He stepped in front of you like he was security now. I felt that was going to intimidate me. Me? You've gone mad. You've gone mad. Sorry. But do you accept the fact that there's age requirement here? Uncle, please stop. Yeah, so Uncle, stop. Yeah, because I have not been rude to you and I don't want you to get involved. That's fine. I said, run me my, run me my money back and then we'll be fine. But Mr. Superman wants to walk in, head of everything, clearly, acting like he's running things over here. But he don't run me, unfortunately, because I don't work for him. That's why I said that. So it looks like you got me running everyone back there pretty soon. It's cool. If you'd like to come with us, we can Listen, I'm not, I'm not being arrested, you know. Would you like to come with us? What kind of thing is this? But just so we can sort out. Listen, when he's got manners, then I'll move. But because you came with him now, I'm even more pissed off. I'm even more pissed off because I was fine with my refund. But this one, he's got some problems. And that's the one i got problems with now. Madam, you want that to settle? Uncle, I spoke to you already. I do not want to argue with you. Yeah? I do not want to argue with you. If you came correct, I would have spoke to you the same way. But you didn't. You started off wrong. I've been polite. No, no, no. That's not how you managed. You didn't do that. You, you've calmed down now. You've calmed down now because you see camera. But you wasn't like this at the beginning. Uncle was not rude from the beginning. You was rude and now you've calmed down. This tone is fine to talk to me for, with. That's absolutely fine. As I said, the refund, I would have been fine with. You came like Superman. From where? For what? From the office. For what? For what, though? Because you're abusing Did my I staff. touch him? Abuse did staff. I touch him? You don't have to abuse someone. Did I touch him? You're insulting my staff. What did I say? It's time to leave the building. But what did I say to him? It doesn't matter what you said. It does matter, because you said I insulted him, so what did I say? No, you've been abusing What did staff. I say? It doesn't matter what you said. What did I say to him? I'm asking you to leave. What did I say to him? It doesn't matter what you said. Well, it does, you've because you said I insulted him. What did I say to people. him? What did I say? that film. Right, you leave, you leave the room. Don't talk, stop telling me to leave. leave. Stop telling me to leave. That's what you're being asked to do. Yeah, that's his job. That's no, not even not. your job. It's not. What's your job? Like this. Get out the building. Who are you talking to?
to. This is the opportunity to what? move now. I don't and work for with I do day. not work for you. Doesn't matter. What do you mean opportunity? I do we work. have the right. I don't to reject to... anyone. Okay, with reject, reject. What you got to say now? Personally, I would have not seen any form of effort being worth it here from the worker's point of view. Oh, she might, the kid might have been 14 and they paid for an adult ticket because she claimed they were 15 and no one decides to do an ID check. I mean, that just becomes one of those things where someone stuffed up elsewhere. It just becomes one of those things. She's already brought the ticket. She's already pretty much in the cinema. What's the point on taking this any further? It just seems outlandishly stupid and very, very flipping petty. Like, there's either some form of potentially racist intent or just the workers, the retail worker here has had a bad day and decides to take it out on some random individual who just so happened to have done something slightly wrong. Which, just thinking about that, is just insane. Like, the levels of petty that that is in the first place. It's just stupid. Like, what's the point of this? You've literally... All you've done is probably guaranteed that if there's another cinema somewhat nearby, most of these people would probably never come here again because of this ginormous argument that you caused in the middle of the cinema. Which, I think, to me, this entire reason to cause the argument sounds ridiculous ridiculously stupid and so unnecessary if it was really a problem you could just ask them at the end of the movie oh no like genuinely speaking how much more expensive would a child ticket cost versus an adult ticket maybe this is a film that is ma 15 plus where you have to be 15 years or older to watch it but at the same time if no one's done the proper id check and the parents fine for the kid to watch it in the first place at that point you're doing too little too late it's ridiculously stupid to do anything along these lines after the fact here we got the neighborhood Karen who was not exactly happy with apparently how her friend was treated by this guy apparently calling her friend a biatch and decided to make it everyone else's problem in the building by going over there and harassing the guy and screaming at the top of her lungs effectively. Here's what happens. Saga continues, meet Leo one of Karen's minions. She was sent to my front door to do God knows what. Don't be a Leah. someone over there. Uh -huh. You called my friend a fucking bitch. I don't think that's very manly of you. I think you should take off. Um, I don't think so. Take I off. You see this? This is recording. Yeah, I, you know what? I'm recording too. You're calling my friend a bitch and you call yourself a fucking man? Okay. I am a man. I'm more of a you're, man. You're a female. female. You act like a fucking female. I gotta go down. You're gonna call her a fucking bitch? Record me. Karen. You're you guys should Karen. subscribe my uh, TikTok. I will. She's all over it. Really? That's great. Get me out of here. I cannot. Oh. I can't believe you be calling people fucking bitches out here. All day. All day. All day. I know. I bet you would. I feel bad for your girlfriend. All day. Good job.
job. Absolutely magnificent. You, you, you just did absolutely brilliant over here. You totally haven't just made a fool of yourself on camera here like an absolute moron. And of course, your friend actually was thinking a little further ahead and attempted to try and block the camera at the back end of the clip. But by that time, it's already been to almost three minutes of you guys being absolute assholes. So it's a bit too late to fix that problem. Not only did all the audio get caught on camera, uh, you also were caught on camera being a complete and utter tool to your neighbor. Oh, so what? Someone called your friend a bitch. Like, I'm sorry, is that really the end of the world? Genuinely speaking, you guys, is, is that really what everyone should be considering the absolute end of the world? Because I personally don't. I think that's just completely ridiculous. Yeah. Maybe it's not the appropriate words I'd be using with other people, but at the same time, oh no, does it require you to go up to that person's house and knock on their door and then start going off at hurling abuse at them because they did that one word? I don't think so. Seems a little bit unnecessary, but hey, that's your choice. In his next clip, this Karen goes off of this random innocent standby for people speeding down the street because they're late that this is a residential neighborhood. Okay, was that speeding? Hey, I'm warning everybody that I can get to. Your window was slight open. But so was I that speeding? You. It doesn't matter if it's you or not. It's a guy public service announcement. So if I wasn't speeding, why are you yelling at me? I'm yelling at everybody. Why? They I didn't do nothing to you. The trains there, they think this is some kind of place where they can take their anger out and drive through here going 50 miles an hour. I'm not mad. To make up for not making it through the train when they're dumb, stupid drive one block down and get around the train. I'm not mad. Why are you mad? I'm mad at all the stupid what Did you wake up in a bad mood? I you. Well, I what? Well, why are you cussing me? Why are you wake up in a bad I, mood? I didn't. I walked my dog all nice and then I got retarded losers spinning through here and you know you don't have permission to publish that and i can sue you i'm not publishing anything yeah, well good keep it for yourself what's your name karen no mother oh it's called rent person who paid property taxes and i deserve to live in a neighborhood where people aren't rude assholes. you got like slobber you got spit on your mouth I and everything care. i don't like you people who, what people stupid people that cut through and speed through but i wasn't speeding well, you are probably on your way. You had your foot down pretty good. I bet you if I didn't see anything, you're at your roll would have been to 44. You know where I live? So, go, go. I mean, if I've ever heard of an amazing method to uh, get people to not speed is to scream at the people who weren't speeding in the first place. That is the fantastic way to do things. I've never seen a plan that would work so spectacularly, if you can't tell I'm being sarcastic. Like, I, I don't get what's the point of doing that. Just a random person driving down the street, you're just going to scream at them for the other people speeding down that street. I'm sorry, but this guy wasn't speeding at the time you decided to annoy the hell out of him. Granted, I'm not sure why this guy decided to stick around after he found out what she was trying to stop him for and why he didn't just move along and not worry about it too much. Because I understand when you see someone screaming at you, you're kind of curious on what the hell's happening, so you're going to stop and look. But then beyond that, once you find out what she's really doing, wouldn't you just move on to that point? Because clearly uh, it's not worth your time of day at all. <laughs> Here we have a guy who doesn't stop at the stop sign and almost hits a person who is also driving on the road. This person decides to take it of their own volition to attempt to call the police and get them in trouble for it. And this is what happens next. Hey yo, so this stupid yeah. with the hat on yep. said she's gonna call the police on me yes, for no you, reason. No, the reason is because you didn't pull a Because stop. I didn't pull a stop yeah. and she told me I didn't pull the stop. Yes. I told her to go f uh -huh. you know, mm -hmm. and this stupid ass mm -hmm. is gonna call the police on me. I got you too. Got me, you're racist. That you're you. right. you you're racist. racist. I am, yeah. You're racist, look, yeah. Look at the color of you. Fuck. At the color of me? Yeah. You're racist. No, I'm, I'm not racist. You're, you know, millions of people are gonna see this, right? Fine. Millions of people are gonna see this too. Let them see it. Call the cops. I, I didn't am. do anything. You're a so are you're you. A, so are you. You're a f***ing old hag. Fuck Mind your f***ing business. Mind your f***ing business. Don't f*** all the cops for bull. Yeah. Stupid old hag. Yeah. Old Call them. Uh -huh. Call them. Tell them to come here. Mania. Just 
really mania. It's 24-7. Yes, I have an issue. Did you bring a patrol car out? <laughs> yes. Thank you. All right. You're going to call the police on me? You ran the stop, almost hit me. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. No one hit you. What the f***? said you just... You're Racist. I'm not racist. I'm You're calling the cops for no reason. Oh, yeah. You run I'm recording you. I have the right to record you. I won't hear it from anywhere. I'm okay, recording you. Fine, we'll wait for the cops. You're the one in you're the one in the calling the police on me yes, for no reason. You ran the stop sign almost hit me. I didn't nobody hit you. You said you ran the stop And I told sign. you to go yourself and mind your business. You know what? You need to go exercise. No. Get the group. You're gonna harass me? Yes. You're gonna the Fitness? I am, they're on their way. Okay, I'm gonna talk with them. Good. I'm sorry, but the guy behind the camera, I'm not on your side here. I mean, yes, did this person need to go through all the hassle just to get to pull you up on your behavior here about the fact that you ran a stop sign? I mean, maybe, maybe not. It's up to your own opinion there, but your reaction to her doing this is just beyond me stupid as hell. Because it's just like, oh, you're telling me it's wrong to run a stop sign? Oh, you're gonna call the police on me for running a stop sign and Omar's hitting you? You're racist. You're a bitch. You're a, like, just call, like, dude, you're the problem here. Yes. Did she need to go through the effort to just be annoying like this? Maybe not. But your reaction to it says, speaks a lot louder than what she's choosing to do here. So, uh, maybe it's time to grow the hell up, guy, and move on with your life, and maybe follow laws and stop at a stop sign. You might accidentally run into someone. That could cause you a lot of problems. So, backstory to this one. First off, there is a second clip where he just shows the lead up to it. He just decided to start recording, was cutting down trees, and a little while later, the Karen comes into frame. I'm not including that because all it is is to ultimately prove that the video wasn't staged. Now, other background information is that why is the reason he's cutting trees here? Well, it's as simple as this. According to the story goes that he's cutting trees here in order to, well, it's a job that's been given to him by a Paraline company in order to make it so these trees don't get struck and fall down onto these power lines causing a possible power outage. Anyway, whilst doing this, a Karen comes in to say hi. When Karen attacks... Wait for it. No, te entendí ni verga, no sé inglés. Oh, she damn angry. Oh my god, it's gonna be the end of the world. I'm so sad. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one of those clips where I don't really have much to say, it's just genuinely one of those very interesting things to watch. Just watch a person go off at someone else for chopping down trees because they don't understand the reason why they're doing it or for, I think, something to do with, oh, you don't even, you won't even clean up the mess from what you cut down here today, blah, 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 and what other things she chose to claim about. Ultimately, it's just very nonsensical, and at the end of the day, he's just doing his job. 
And considering in this situation, his job is to tear the, take down some of these trees because of the risk of these trees falling down on top of some of the power lines that are in the area, causing potential power outages. I feel like um, this is probably a little bit better overall. Like imagine what would, imagine if you just left it there and then the tree fell down and cut the power to your area. Man, you'd be so much more angrier then, wouldn't you? In this next clip, we got a pair of people who decide to confront a lady for parking in the disabled car park for not having a visible disability. What? You just asked me what? Where's my handicap sticker? First of all, why does it matter to you? I'm not being rude. It's a handicap sticker. First of all, you don't know what my disability is, okay? You don't know what my disability is. So for you, so for you to question what my disability is, you are out of line, and you don't tell me that I don't have a sticker in my sticker on your car. Bring your come, 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 come out, come out, come close to my car. Bring your ass right here. And now apologize. Now apologize. No, no, you sorry for what? You're sorry for what? I don't have to. It's in my car. My damn business get in my face. Get the out of my face. Get out of my face. Piece of. Did you just call her? And ma'am, you need to mind your business. You don't know what the my disability is. You mean people like me? No, don't walk up on me. Don't get You mean people like me? No, no. Y'all were wrong. Yeah, you, you were wrong. Nah, y'all should have done that. Yeah, you know you hang it on. You, you to be quiet. You just don't be. I was just saying. You shouldn't have said to me. You shouldn't have said to me. That's the problem. Mind your business. I need it. Obviously, I parked there. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm gonna make y'all famous today. I'm going to make you famous today. So I'm handicapped. You don't know what my disability is. I got the sticker for a reason. You don't know if I have seizures. What if I fall out before I get to the door? No, because you need to mind your business. Say something to them. Say something to them. No, I don't have can leave. I don't have to leave. And I'm gonna put y'all on TikTok and the news and everywhere else. Go ahead. Because you don't even know who I am. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm another what? I'm another what? Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it doesn't fucking exist. That's not how the world works. I thought we made this goddamn clear not that long ago. Just because their disability isn't visible to you on the surface doesn't mean they don't have a disability. God. I, I don't get these people. It's like, oh, your leg's not broken? Oh, you have the ability to walk normally like a normal person? You look completely normal? Then you're not disabled. You're not allowed to park in a disabled car park. Oh, you got the disability sticker? You obviously lied to get that. Like, the, the logic of these people is fucking dumb. Like, they don't think correctly. They're just like, no, if you don't visibly look disabled, then you should not be parking in a disabled spot. And if you have a disabled sticker, then obviously you lied your way to get said disabled sticker. Goddamn, people are just... Such assholes to others, like God.